morning, everyone. Happy holiday. I'm Karen Brooks Hopkins, president here at BAM. And I'd like to welcome you all for tonight's screening of Gorgon Embraces. And of course, to welcome our very special guest, the great Pedro Almodovar. So we're very happy. about BAM, of course. Um, as you know, BAM is the only performing arts center in the country that has a plex of cinemas right within its building. And um, having the opportunity to personalize the cinema-going experience by having a lot of special guests, we really think gives the BAM Cinematheque and BAM Rose Cinemas a special personality. But your support really makes the difference. Uh, tonight, we <coughs> are offering, for those of you who are already not, who are not already members of the Cinema Club, for those of you who become movie moguls tonight, we have some DVDs that have been signed by Pedro Almodovar, so uh, the first people who get them will have an opportunity to have something special and to help BAM see discounted films all year long and to be part of our world here with the BAM Cinema Club. So I hope that you will consider doing that. Also, I just want to point out a couple of other things that are going on. Uh, first of all, it's kind of a unique day at BAM because we have Academy Award winner Sam Mendes rehearsing up in the Attic Theater, in the uh, Hillman Attic Studio, uh, for the Shakespeare's coming up. We have Academy Award winner Kate Blanchett performing Streetcar Named Desire over at the BAM Party Theater in an unbelievable show. And then in a minute, you'll be hearing from Academy Award winner Pedro Almodovar uh, <laughs> introducing the film. So I don't think that there's another performing arts center in the country that has three Academy Award winners in its building all at the same time other than BAM. So <laughs> also, finally, uh, this is the 10th year of our cinema program here at BAM. Um, I'd like to welcome Michael Barker from Sony Pictures Classics, who's many films we've shown here. Uh, but this is our 10th year, and when we started, we had a real problem establishing an art house in downtown Brooklyn, and we couldn't get any films. Some of you may remember that. So I think for the first four months of business, we played Elizabeth the Queen starring Kate Blanchett and all about my mother, Pedro's film. <laughs> so we have a particular affinity for both of these artists because we showed their films every day here for so long. <laughs> <laughs> And now, finally, um, it is my honor, as I say, to introduce Pedro Almodovar, who's going to talk a little bit about his work and about the film tonight. And of course, you know him from Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, The Flower of My Secret, Live Flesh, All About My Mother, Low There, and Talk to Her, for which he did receive that Oscar. So tonight, with no further ado, I'm very proud and pleased to present this great artist, Pedro Almodovar. like at home here, uh, and I don't know how to appreciate it. Uh, I think this is, this is one of the best places that I can be in the world now. Um, uh, not only because I buy movies um, where screen and here, but also I, I mean, I, I, I like this atmosphere, I, and, uh, and I feel very grateful that this kind of cinema exists for the movie world. For, um, well, thinking about this, uh, the movie we are going to, to see, Broken Embraces, is very... Um, uh, what, what can I say? <laughs> we are going to watch it with Okay, yeah, it was one of, the, one, one of the more complicated movies that I did, and, um, and also that I write. Uh, um, but, um, well, you know, I don't know, with the time, with maturity, with all the things, uh, and making more and more uh, <laughs> complex, structured movies uh, than before. And uh, this is really what appealed to me. But anyway, you will understand, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I know, I know you're a very sophisticated audience, so, yeah, I mean, if you can see these are more than that. Um, but it was, it was um, complicated in, in, in other sense. Um, I live as, as a writer, I mean I write more like a novelist, more than like a screenwriter. 
I mean, I live with my stories during a lot of years. I'm taking notes all the time. Uh, then, then one moment that when I start just writing, and when I have like a, a, a hundred pages, so um, so I mean, I live with this story from 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 long time. So um, then the result is that there are so many lawyers that uh, perhaps it's not useful to see among on the cinema now. I feel like like uh, really, really like an artisan. Uh, anyway, I mean, in the movie it is the themes that I used and uh, that I used to work with. And um, is that an anthology of all of them? But um, but I, I got this, I got the feeling that I, I mean. I could I could make this movie because I made just the uh, the 16 uh, movies that I did before. This is a big, 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 it's a romantic movie. It's a big love story. Well, I uh, I love quart story uh, with everything that is important in one a love story. I mean, a lot of feelings, uh, a lot of guiltiness, a lot of pain, a lot of pleasure. Of course, a lot of sex, uh, and um, you know many, 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 many things that make um, the life worth of living, and and also sometimes regretful too, because this is part of life too. But but above all, you know, as the as the <coughs> the protagonist is a movie maker, then I couldn't avoid to to reflect some of my own feelings in that character. I'm not exactly like the director of the movie, but uh, when I was shooting, then I was I, I I discovered that really this movie represents for me a kind of love, le love letter to to the cinema in general, not not as a filmmaker, even as as a, more than as an spectator. I think like I it, it I got the feeling that well life is very imperfect, but I got the feeling that cinema make it less than perfect. And I really, I really feel that like that. And um, then yeah, you can applause for the cinema. <laughs> and, um, and, and really, I mean, now I cannot understand my life without watching movies and without also making it. But above all, without watching, watching movies. And, um, and this love, this is the main love story of, of of the film, my own love story with cinema, uh, and that was something that I didn't realize when I was when I was writing the script. Um, you will find also, um, I mean, many wonderful performances. Um, <clears throat> Penelope Cruz, I think, is 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 uh, well, is uh, the more difficult role uh, she did, and uh, for me, I think uh, this is her best performance and many other Spanish actors. And also the, um, the composer of the music, Alberto Iglesias, is um, I mean, it's a kind of miracle for me. Uh, so, and well, I hope you enjoyed. I would like to convince you to, to see it um, in the following, the following season. I mean, uh, after, after that, I mean, after this, you, I would like to convince you to see it again. Because <laughs> very, not that because of box office. <laughs> <laughs> No, everybody, everybody, everybody said to me that the, the, the second time is better. Once is gone and enough. But I hope you enjoy. I really, I really, I really feel very grateful to you. Uh, I mean, you represent for me just the reason of my life. Um, uh, just, I mean, if uh, if I have one. Yes, one spectator, uh, that, that there will be a reason for me to keep on making movies. And the song represents the, the, well, yes, some, the thing that, I, that is more important for me. So thank you for coming and thank you for that. Thank you very much.